Hi everyone, for if this is the first time for you to watch, to, to watch my YouTube channel, my name is Diego Damuna. The United States of America has got a program where they randomly select 55,000 people from everywhere, from all over the world. Um, it, it's a free selection. As for this year, it already started to be available, or the entry per period already started since the 5th of October and it will go like that until the 8th of November. So basically you can see that it's going to last one month. It's gonna take one month during which that program, it is going to be available. So the DV lottery program is one of, it's the easiest way that uh, the United States of America government made available for people to get access to the country so if you want to apply for that program and you don't know how to do that i'm going to put a link up the screen here you can up above there on the screen you can just click in it's going to take you to a video that already released the results will become available next year in the month of may and once it become available then you will be able to check whether you have been selected or not and for you to be able to select if you have been um, for you to know if you have been selected, just come down. After you have managed to enter the, uh, after you managed to apply, you'll be given a confirmation number, which will uh, contain the confirmation number. It's a combination of uh, uh, letters and digits that that will be called the confirmation number. That will be found uh, on the page that is going that is going to be displayed after you submitted your application. There will be a confirmation number. Obviously, your date of birth, your name, your surname, and your middle name, if you manage to provide your middle name. So those three informations are very important because these are the informations that you're going to use uh, next year in the month of May once the results are available. All right. So once you found out that you have been selected, it's a very good thing because it's, a, it's an exci exciting thing. It is exciting, but that just the beginning of a long journey i'm saying the beginning of of long journey because definitely as you're going to play to today or this year the results become available next year but from the time that the result become becomes available to the time of you being able to go to the united states of america they there is a lot of things that come into consideration so this is the timeline you play this year in October and the results become available next year in the month of May. So after you find out that you have been selected, you must prepare what we call the required documents. So the required documents, uh, I'm going to make a video explaining when we are talking about required documents, which documents exactly are we talking about. There's one critical thing that you have to do, that is filling the visa form. And the visa form, it's a form which is called DS-260. That form ex explains to you uh, the information which, which are not required when you are applying. Those informations will be there on that form. So you have to, uh, to provide all those informations. And then once you manage to fill out that form and I already published a video explaining how to fill that DS-260 form. So once you manage to fill that DS-260 form, then you can submit it so from the time that the results become available in may until is not the first of october there won't be any interview between for those who have applied during 2022 the reason being is that they have to accommodate those who have applied before the fiscal year you have applied all right so those guys they will be receiving those those selectives those selected guys they will be receiving a letter for the interview for that fiscal year so once it's october that is when you'll be given a notification that's now your case has been selected for further processing you the interview is just to know who you are and it's a kind of uh, confirming the information that you have been provided when you were filling your DS-260 form and once you um, you have been good with uh, the the consular office and once you provided the informations correct the informations that they have required from you uh, you got 90% of chance to be 
allowed to be issued with a visa all right and once you get that letter the interview letter there's something that you have to do before the actual interview that is the medical process so the medical process it's something uh, very simple because um they just want to know if you are fit enough to come in this country you know if you'll be able to to be to be working you must be healthy you must be fit enough so it uh, it just you know general um, checkup they will be checking your your blood and, and etc they will see uh, your x-ray if you are addict, addicted to drugs etc so these are the things that um, the physicians will be looking at when you go for the medical exams so as I, as I was saying, once you receive that letter, before even going to the actual interview, you have to undergo the medical. And once you do the medical, uh, I mean, let's say you receive your letter today for the interview, um, the consular or the embassy will give you something like two months before the date of the interview. Or two months, it depends, it might be two months or one month and a half. Sometimes it can even be two months and a half. Why? Because they know that from the day you receive that letter to the day you are going for the actual interview, you must undergo the medical test. And once the medical becomes available, and that is going to be obviously before the interview date, then you can, be, you can go to the interview. So maybe you might be wondering, uh, you know, asking as to which questions uh, you'll be asked uh, at the interview, how do you have to prepare for the interview. I published videos explaining how to prepare for the interview and how to do a successful interview. You can just click here on this link or maybe look at the descriptions where I uh, put the link that, link that links you or that takes you to the video where I uh, speak about uh, the experience of the interview. So it's very simple. The OS consular officer will just ask you questions uh, whose answers are, are known to you so they won't, they, they, won't, they won't ask you tricky questions just to trap you that is not the intention be, be behind the officer consular officer asking you questions they'll be asking you questions just to know sorry just to know more about you just to confirm the information that you provided in the uh, uh, DS-260 form which is the visa form so once you do your interview and um, there will be uh, three, three different uh, possible decisions that the consular officer may take over your case. I, I made a video explaining the three different decisions that uh, a consular officer may uh, take over your case. So if you want to know more about the three different uh, decisions that the officer may take uh, after your interview, one more time, I made a video and I already published it. You can just click here where there's this pop-up or you can go below the, the descriptions. Uh, the, there's a link that will take you to the video I published where I explained the three different decisions that uh, the consular officer may take after your interview. So once the interview, let's say that your interview has been successful and then uh, you'll be told that uh, uh, you've been successful and you, you know, you your case has been approved and once you become approved uh, in few days and within a, a week or 10 days then the visa will be printed on your uh, passport and then once you get your passport you can now arrange for the traveling you know and as it works you do those things then you can easily come to the united states of america so this is basically was the program i wanted to make sure that you you were aware of it if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also turn on your notification bell so that next time if i i release a video you'll be alerted that can be important to you so that's it for today's video keep well guys see you in the next video bye